Howdy neighbors, I am Chandra of Shabby Hair Knits. I'm coming at you from the DFW area in Texas. I live with my husband and our two crazy cats who are currently over here fighting. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, not a lot. I'm a pretty boring person, not a lot to talk about with me. So anyway, I'll just jump into what I wanted to talk about. Um, so I recently went to DFW Fiberfest um, this past Friday, it is currently Tuesday, um, the 27th as I'm recording this, um, but I went on Friday, and so I wanted to show you all some of my fun acquisitions, that I, well, all of my fun acquisitions that I got. So first up is Morning Moon Alpacas. I got this gorgeous um, light gray lace weight yarn. It is... 55% baby alpaca, 21% merino, and 24% brushed nylon. It is 500 yards, I believe it says. Um, I'm sorry, y'all ignore the cats. <laughs> um, but uh, it's so soft. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm leaning towards a hat. That's what I'm feeling with it. Maybe holding it with uh, just a natural undyed skein of fingering weight yarn that I have. Um, so there's that. Morning Moon Alpacas. Um, and then from Stellar Needle Craft, I got these um, really fun fluorescent yellow in like a lighter like lemonade type I don't know how to describe it yellow I was thinking of doing shorty socks with and they're just a 75 25 uh, I don't know if we'll focus uh, merino nylon base soft yarn um, so I was thinking of making shorty socks with these with um, this being heels, toes, and cuffs, and this being the main body of the sock is what I'm thinking of doing uh, with this. So, and then I got these um, Birdie Parker Designs, I think is her name on Instagram, was there and had a, they had a stitch marker bar. And I just got a few and I don't know if they'll show very well on my camera. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit. Not really, that's okay. Um, super cute, super pretty. Um, very kind of, I went to, I just picked out three and I wanted more, but uh, there's so much to look at in, uh, I didn't, I wanted to limit and budget. I'm sorry. I wanted more. But anyway, she so kindly gifted uh, the three that I picked out to me. I went to pay for them and she just said, these are my gift to you. Oh, here's the other one. Uh, and that made my day and made me really excited and happy. This is the third one that I got. You can't see it super well. It's on a sock project I'm working on with some yarn that I picked out at Fiberfest. Um, and then I guess I'll jump into this one then. This is from Fiber Lady in the colorways Pearl. It's a 50-50 bamboo wool blend. It's a really pretty pastel, like pink and blue and creamy white colorway. Um, I'm making socks. I don't know if that's a good idea with that blend, but I'm going to do it because I want to. And that's what I envisioned when I saw this yarn. I could change my mind. I haven't decided yet. I'm about halfway done with the cuff, but um, that's what I was picturing. Again, I'm sorry for the noise. Y'all please ignore my cats. <laughs> um, and then next up from, I think it's Hope Boot. 
Boheme Fibers. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, Timberland, I think is the name of this colorway. And it is oh, it's just a gorgeous and very uh, dynamic brown color. very pretty um it's 100 percent merino wool super wash merino i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this yet but i saw it and i wanted it and so i got it as we do sometimes you know <laughs> um i don't know i may incorporate this with some color work somehow with some other other yarn i have in my stash it could be really pretty with but i'm not sure but yeah um, very, very gorgeous yarn. And then I got this really cute. Take the tag off. I want the tag on. Um, by the Bay Bag Co. Uh, really cute little tiny. I'm thinking for like Notions pouch bag. Um, I don't think you could fit like even a little sock project in it. I don't know. I guess it would depend. Um, but metallic blue, so cute and pretty and definitely my aesthetic. I love it. It's really, really shiny and cute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, by the Bay Bag Co. Um, and I also have and this was my biggest acquisition. And I'm pretty sure the ladies at the booth thought I was cuckoo crazy because I kept circling back to this so many times. But you gotta think on purchases, you know? Or at least I do. Um, but for Moondrake, I got the Unicorn Cloud so pretty i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna make with this yet um but it's so pretty and cute not my typical colors and aesthetic i feel like but i don't know it's kind of growing on me i'm gonna blame aro of our own knits and pearls because i've been watching her videos a lot and this is definitely aro's aesthetic reminds me of aro and i think a little bit of her style and aesthetic is rubbing off on me so Aro, I'm, no, I'm sure you're never going to see this, but thanks a lot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. Um, what I'm going to make with this, I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm leaning towards, there's a pattern called, um, there's two I'm thinking of more heavily, but I haven't found a lot that do, I guess it wouldn't necessarily have to be a slub and mohair pattern. I don't know, but I'm thinking of the Mo Slub Knit Club pattern. I can't remember by who, sorry. Um, but that's the name of it, Most Love Knit Club, I think. Um, and then there is one wrap. That is a wrap and the other, or shawl rather, I guess. Uh, the other one is also like a shawl slash wrap. And the name of that pattern is Noelani, I believe. And that one was also very pretty. I'm leaning more towards Most Love Knit Club, but if y'all have any ideas, um, something I can make with, I just have this. I don't know if I even have enough to make either of those. Um, but most love knit club is what I'm leaning towards. Um, oh, just so pretty. So yummy. And magical. And just oh, the squish, new yarn beard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm weird. Uh, but yeah. This was definitely my biggest acquisition at the festival. Oh, and also she very sweetly gave me a tote bag when I bought the skein of the coppery, gorgeous, goldy brown yarn. So I have that tote bag too. Thank you very much. Um, this is an acquisition, but it's not from Fiber Fest. Actually, I blame my baby sister for this. She is in like an Amazon deals group on Facebook. 
I don't do Facebook all that much. I have a lot too many. It just sucks the soul out of you, I feel like, sometimes. Social media in general. But, um... I got this new project bag that I've been keeping a project in. I'll show in a little bit. But it is amazing and giant. And it was with a discount code. I'll try to link this bag. Um, and I know not everyone likes Amazon shopping. And if I can help it, you know, I try not to but this was with the discount code about $16 and your girl's on a budget <laughs> as I'm sure I'm not the only one I will link it below and I'm sure people aren't gonna hate or judge for being on a budget you know and if so then sorry but gosh it's a great bag and I'm not sure if the discount code will still work um I'll try to link that too I think that'll be okay um I don't think there's anything Wrong with that. Anyway, but I've been loving this bag and I have my spooky time pin on it. Oh, he's upside down. Ah, uh, so cute. I just got to actually last night. We, me and my husband, went on a date to a thing near us called Pumpkin Nights, and it was so fun. And if you are near it or hear of it, you should go because it's like think Christmas light display, but Halloween. It's so, so fun. You just walk through this trail among all these spooky lights and oh. Anyway, such a fun time. Anyway, I also got this pin from the awesome and sweet Macy of Mesa Skeins. She was there and I saw her magical booth. I did not buy any of her yarn, unfortunately, and I feel really bad and I wanted to, but I have bought her yarn before. It's so gorgeous. Uh, from Juju Knits it is a yarn store not too terribly far from me. And she vends there. And gosh, a really pretty yarn. She gave me a temporary tattoo. Sorry, I just looked that down. <laughs> a temporary tattoo. And her business card is really cool. Like, if anyone's interested in looking at her stuff, really, really cool. Um, oh, it's upset. <laughs> of course. Um, looks like a playing card. How cute and creative. Um, but her booth was fantastic and it was cool just to, to see her for a second and meet her. Uh, but this bag is super cool, you guys. Um, I'm just trying to look out for my homies, my friends on a budget. That was really lame. <laughs> um, just signal my dumb <laughs> weirdness. Uh, anyway, did I get a couple of stitch markers? I didn't catch their names, but I traded some stitch mark, a couple of stitch markers with some uh, sweet ladies there. Um, and one is this little ghosty guy. So cute. Ignore my cats and maybe you guys, sorry. And then the other is this really pretty um, bead one. Um, so I'm really grateful that they were willing to trade with me because all I had were stitch markers I have made. Um, and one is this little jack-o'-lantern guy. He's a jingle bell too, so he could get annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think about that on a project but he's so cute he's so cute I'm trying to get used to interacting with the camera sorry um he's so cute and i love him and then i had these little i made these little kitty cat ones um and that's what the girls picked to uh, a cat each but they looked different than this but these are some I had left over that I've made. Anyway, um, so I guess I'll talk a little bit about whips. Um, my biggest one right now that's been taking a lot of my time because I'm on a time crunch with it now is I am test knitting for 
Her name on Instagram is High Five and Knits. The Holly Jolly Jumper pattern for her. Um, sorry, I have a little envelope to keep it together. I don't have a binder for my patterns. Anyway, the Holly Jolly Jumper pattern, and it has been so fun. And y'all keep an eye out for this pattern when it is released. It's going to be released um, in a few few weeks. So the earliest October, I say a few weeks, it's already September 27th, but I can't remember exactly the pattern release date, but keep an eye out for it. Earliest, midish October. Um, Holly Jolly Jumper, and I'll show you my progress so far on it. And I am so grateful she picked me for this because I'm very inexperienced with color work, I will admit. The only color work I've done is uh, for Nitty Natty, I test knit her sweetheart socks um, for her. And if you, let me check her out if you haven't heard of Nitty Natty and her pattern for the sweetheart socks. They're so cute. And, you know, Valentine's Day is going to be very soon. And it is definitely like you can make them a Valentine themed socks. But anyway, this is what I've gotten so far. So cute little hearts and deers and snowflakes coming through um a little bunchy at the top I'm uh, my tension is not great I'm hoping blocking will fix it but this is what I've gotten so far and I again I'm super grateful to even be in the test knit group and thank you for picking me if you ever see this video uh but yeah high five and knits holly jolly jumper super fun fringy row too um honestly at the top i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be completely honest i was kind of regretting a little bit my color choices because it was hardcore giving me like old like mcdonald's vibes but <laughs> it's okay and i think with the further the pattern goes i am getting less mcdonald's vibes so and who cares you know if i like it i like it it doesn't matter um and also, if there's not going to be a tacky Christmas sweater party I can go to uh, and wear this, I'm going to be pretty sad. But I'm honestly, you know, Texas, so I'm not sure it could be 75 degrees on Christmas. So I don't know if I'll get to wear it around Christmas time. We'll see. Texas. Anyway. Um, I'm just making this. I, I'll be honest. I'm just making it with cheap acrylic yarn. Um, and I partly picked it because I didn't want to spend so much time on this gorgeous sweater in it. And with my inexperience, I didn't want to waste good yarn. So I just went with acrylic, but I, you know, honestly, it fits the vibe. I feel like, <laughs> um, and I'm not mad about it. It may be deathly hot to wear. We'll see, you know, so. If I wear this and y'all never hear from me again, then y'all know what happened. And bye. <laughs> See you on the flippity flip, I guess. But um, yeah, Holly Jolly Jumper, high five and knits. And super fun, super fun pattern for Christmas time. And the way she has it written is super fun because you can either go with her uh, charts that she's written up that are pretty easy to follow. Um, so yeah, honestly, I was a little nervous to try this, but I don't, you know, getting into it, it's really not, you know, nothing to be scared of trying a bigger color work project for the first time. And she writ she's written the pattern in a way that's really, it's, it's fun and easy to follow. And cool because she wrote the charts that you can follow and then she gives you like mix and match option or a design your own so it's in a way like she gives you just like a blank space grid to make up your own design in it if you feel so inclined I am not that creative I wish I was and I more power to you if you come up with patterns at all even if it's color work patterns, because my brain doesn't compute. <laughs>
Um, but I can follow a chart and it's been really fun. So I'll move on from that one. The next thing I've been working on very occasionally are these, and I don't know what yarn this is. Um, a sweet lady at my church just randomly one Sunday morning walked up to me and she says, I have something for you and hands me this really cute rainbow fun tastic like tie-dye reminds me a lot of tie-dye and I love it uh yarn I'm making a shorty sock and I just cast it on for my typical size um which is typically 72 stitches I'm using a size two I've got big feet um or maybe for this I did 64 I take that back I can't remember so I'm not gonna try to accidentally lie to y'all. I don't remember what number of stitches I cast on for this, to be honest, but I just did like five knit rounds and just doing a row top shorty sock with it. And again, I wish I knew what yarn this was. I have no idea, but there's that. I have also been working on I need to get my booty and gear, finish my Christmas, my Holly Jolly Jumper, and then finish this next because I am calling this, it's a Plumettis. I think I'm saying that right, and I'm really sorry if I'm not. Uh, words, y'all and me don't get along sometimes. But I am trying to make this in time for my baby sister's wedding coming up towards the end of October. And it's a plumettis, and it is just, um, I can't remember where I got the ribbing yarn or the fingering weight. Uh, there, sorry. Uh, yarn, but I know this, um, purpley is, um, the Diablo from, is it Hobie? I think, anyway. So, I've gotten a fair amount done on it, but not enough. <laughs> uh, if I want to wear it for her wedding, so I've been jokingly calling this the wedding sweater, um, then I need to get my booty in gear and get it done. Y'all. Um, sorry, I'm weird, y'all. I'm not used to this. Uh, anyway. Ignore my awkward. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this is a very... It's a very languishing whip, I will admit. I, I work on this one very occasionally as well. Sorry, awkward. Anyway. Um, the yarn, I can't remember... This is a self-striping, I think it's 100% merino sock yarn. And this is like a pack of multiple ones that I got. I'm pretty sure I got both of these from uh, Don't Revolt Against Me. I think it's Hobby Lobby. Um, and it is turning out I want to work on it more, but it's definitely taken the back burner with everything else, especially my two, the test knit and my Christmas sweater, not Christmas, yeah, Christmas sweater and wedding sweater, as I'm calling it. Um, but I think the colors are working up together so fun, especially with the self-striping, almost looks like more intricate color work than it is. But this is, did I even say what pattern I'm working on? Sea glass tea. And this sparkly white is just uh, nitpicks. Okay, sorry, I'm back. My phone just cut off. The storage got full. So anyway, I was talking about my sea glass tea. Anyway, uh, I'm loving the colors and I'm hoping I can actually finish it. Uh, yeah. And I went with the tea because again, Texas and hot. But that's that. And the other thing, and I'm not sure, y'all, I may, may visit the frog pond. I don't know. But 
I have this, I can't remember the colorway, I think it's seashell or something like that from Palmer Yarn Co. Um, it's really super pretty and soft and squishy. And I was thinking of a tee for that as well, but I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to do with it anymore. It's gorgeous though, so I'm, I'm being a little picky about if I really... I don't even remember what pattern it was. I'm probably going to rip this out because I don't remember what pattern I picked for this in, in, in the end. Uh, maybe it was like the Celeste tee or something like that. I don't remember. But probably going to end up ripping that out and doing something else with this. I don't remember if I have just a t-shirt or sweaters quantity. That was the thing. Um, but that is that so i don't know if i have anything else near me to talk about or not i think i pretty much hit all of the things um and so i just wanted to i don't know hop back on after my camera cut off and do a little goodbye because uh, i think i think that's all the things i have to talk about um, I'm sorry if this is chaotic and rambly. Uh, thanks for bearing with me if you even watch this all the way through. Um, I don't know if anyone's even going to watch this, and I don't blame them if they don't. But anyhow, thank you for spending a little time with me today. Um, remember to love all thy neighbors and be nice and kind. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day. And I hope that all your projects are bringing you joy and that you're having a good time. Bye.